Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's an exciting day. We are going to get into this thing here and do an unboxing. Would you believe it if I told you there's light in this bag? That's right. Because in this bag is a box. And you know what's in the box? Light in the box. That's right. <laughs> light in the box is the sponsor who is bringing us the new CF58 Smart Bracelet. I know, I know we're doing a lot of smart bands and bracelets and all sorts of things, but we're trying to get a bunch of things in here so as the holiday shopping season comes upon us, you've got choices. So let's jump in and see what we've got. Check the show notes down below for a discount coupon and a link to pick up this smart bracelet at a really good price, and you get to see what it does as we unbox it. For those of you wanting to look at specs, this is it. It's got that kind of a chip in it. It's uh, waterproof with all sorts of things, including blood pressure and heart rate and all of those goodies. Fitness and wellness, which has got a stopwatch, sedentary reminder, the common things, including a gravity sensor in it, and so forth. Multi-languages and a USB charging cable. Okay. All sealed up, so I need this to complete the unboxing and let that light out. Light in the box. Come on out. Here we go. Are you ready? Get your shades on. Woo, there. Okay, looks like we've got a QR code. That's probably to link to the tethering app. Anything else on the box? Doesn't look like it. Let's, wow, it's got a nice smell to it. That, um, you know, Chinese factory smell you get from Shenzhen, Shenzhen, China, where most of these things are manufactured. Yeah, okay. We're going to take it out and let you know that, whoa, it's lightweight, first of all. It's about ready to float away. Super thin. Got a cover on the heart rate monitor. Wow, removable TPU bands. This is really, really light. This is really thin. Huh, impressed. I didn't expect that. And we have a charging dock with it as well that will line up with the spots. You just set it on the dock to charge it, and that plugs into a USB. Okay, we've got a manual and oh, several manuals. Manual de instructions, instruction manual, and another language there. We're going to go for English and show you the QR code for tethering. Okay. And does it say what the app is? Well, it just shows you with the D in the middle. We'll get that figured out here. We've got um, color pictures that show you the kind of displays you're going to see on it. So we're all kind of icon driven here. Wow, let's open it up like this. Okay, there's your first page. Here's your next couple of pages. For those of you who want to freeze frame and read all about this, there's your chance to do it. Okay. And more. Oh, it's showing that app. Oh, here it is, DaFit. Okay, we've done DaFit before. Yeah, we've reviewed DaFit. Uh, interesting app. Common for some of these watches to tether with DaFit. Some more information, both graphic intensive and text intensive. And that's it. This side is all Chinese, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's everything except charging it and turning it on. Then we'll look at it. All right, let's begin. Since this thing is so lightweight and thin, I wanted to take some measurements for you. Let's check the weight out first of all before we go any further. This is my uh, little digital scale, which unfortunately uh, has such a bright display it usually washes out on the camera. So I'll read it for you. It's saying zero right now. It's zeroed out. When I plop it on here, it's reading 40.2 grams. So just about 40 grams for this. And in terms of its overall size, well, the watch itself diameter is 44.2, it's saying. Um, the bands themselves come in around 19.4, it says, so I call it 19 if you want to get a replacement band for it. Uh, the thickness, that's interesting. The, it, it pops up just a little bit for the heart rate sensor, but it's 12.5 millimeters thick. 
really, really nice. I don't know if you can see, there's a little bubble right there that's underneath the screen protector. Another one of the reasons I'll pull these screen protectors off, sometimes you can wiggle them out, but it's not a blemish in the screen or anything. It's just that silly screen protector. I have the dimness set really low on here. I'm going to show you when we get into the overall brightness how bright it can get. But uh, if I make it any brighter, the beautiful icons are going to wash off on the screen. So let's go through it. TPU band, nice, stretchable, lots of holes all the way to the end. It'll definitely fit a small wrist. We'll see it on in a minute. And uh, it's a good size for a small wrist. So it could be a ladies, men's, child's. All in all, it's looking really good. The twist and see the time is set up through the app. You can see it's happening now. If I press, I go into my sports section where if I'm doing the pedometer, I have my step count, calories burned, and distance traveled uh, basically based on your stride and all of that with an icon going on. Keeps the time in the screen up here. Here's your overall sleep time from last night with uh, total restful and light sleep. Then you get into heart rate which it's not going to activate unless you're actually uh, set up to, to do it. Um, and, and it'll do your heart rate. We're going to look at that in a little bit. That was training. Uh, this is a section you can go into with a long press to look at a bunch of different training options. Here's a uh, look at messages if you have any waiting from being tethered. Then you get into your blood pressure reading. Again, long press to start testing for that. And your blood oxygen. So we've had heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and after that, uh, a shutter, remote shutter for your camera that you can use this to take pictures using your camera when you're tethered to it, a music player to play the music on your phone, okay, and then other. And when you long press here, we get into the other, which shows you a back button, a stopwatch, uh, a ability to turn mute on and off on this one, resetting the whole watch, turning power off, the brightness, the Dove Fit QR code you need to scan in order to download the app or just look in the show notes. I have the link to it down there. And a back button again at the very beginning to take you back. Okay, so you see all that, but check this out. When I get into brightness and hold here, I'm at about the middle, level three. Watch everything now. There, it jumps up like huge notches when you go to level four. Brighter still at five. And at six, this thing is so bright, it's pretty darn easy to read outdoors. Now, long push, I think, to have to uh, apply it. Yeah, let's get back up there. Press and hold. And uh, you see how washed out all the icons are here now? Because it's just too darn bright to, uh, to actually use on the display. But I want it like that, because I want you to get to feel for how bright this watch is. Let's see it on. The uh, band is interesting. When you put it through, you'll notice that the holes are not uh, see-through. There's a little rubber thing in there, and you have to kind of push uh, the clasp through the rubber. When it comes in here, it holds nice and nice and tight, and then there you have it. The nice uh, overall watch band looks really good, works really well, and it tethers to the DaFit app. You can find this on the Google Play Store. It's by that company, I guess. Again, check the show notes. It'll take you there. When you open it up, you're able to go in and set up an account if you want to. Uh, or you can bypass it, which I've done just for the demo here, where you can see your um, daily information. And this is today, step count, and so forth. And over here is where we, we can tether it. And it's as simple as uh, saying searching for the watches and you see the watch that matches we're on the cf58 it even brings up a picture for you here uh, i'm charged at 99 percent right now on the watch this is cool uh, you got the watch faces these are three different watch faces you can use now we've been using that central one right there but if i want to switch over i can switch over to this one and now you've got that watch face and that's the minutes of the hour right in the middle and it's highlighted right there at 1. So 129 with a circle. Looks a lot bigger in the square there than it does on the screen, but that's it. And then you've got this kind up here, too, that it can download for you. Uh, we have to wait for all that to time out and come back in again. Oh, no. we got to loop all the way through to get back. Okay. 
there. There's uh, that time for you. The thing I like is it's white against black on these digital ones, and I presume you should be able to add other watch faces later. That's the stock one it comes with, and that's actually the one I prefer. Uh, it's going to get around there. So let's keep moving. In, uh, in sports, there's not a long press. It's just showing you your pedometer stuff, and same with sleep. But when you get here now and I press and hold, it starts measuring the heart rate. And when you get back here and you're in the actual uh, tab for it, you can go into your heart rate and you can also make a measurement directly from here. And you see it's bouncing around 82, 81, and it's going to settle all of that stuff down after it gets its final number. And you've got that. And then... um. I think it's going to show, oh, there you go. There's your last seven uh, measurements that you took. So heart rate, the sleep time just for last night, and your overall step count show here. Then you get to blood pressure. You've got the same kind of thing on here where you can go into it. We'll come back to training um, right here, long press to get into it. Or I can go into blood oxygen or blood pressure. I can set the measurement from here. It'll take you right to it on the band. So really easy to operate, really easy to get your data from either the phone or the, uh, the band itself. If you're away from your phone and you do it in the, uh, the watch, you can transfer it, of course, all later, and it'll be uh, archived in here. You have uh, all these training options uh, that you can get into. I had one little test here of a run. doesn't show you much. However... You get your steps and mileage and all these things, and then you get your heart rate analysis of how many minutes you were in each of your zones. It's looking better, isn't it, for a nice little inexpensive band? All of that stuff is tracked in this app, and the app is pretty cool, actually. Um, that was the more training data. Here's Outdoor Run, where you can actually start a run with GPS and get your tracking information and whatnot as long as you're doing it on the phone. There's no GPS built in this, but you can accommodate that if you bring your phone along with you to get data from here. Okay, last tab is your profile that you can set up all of your particular information. Um, you can set up your goals and you can get about and check for uh, upgrades. Oh, look at that. You can Get the latest, I guess, firmware, or you can update to a beta version and uh, test it out on the watch for these guys if you want to. And that's it for there. That we, we went and looked at the uh, watch faces. Here's where you set up the notifications that you want pushed to the device from your phone. Um, here's where you can set alarms. This is the remote shutter that'll put this in camera mode. Turn on the shutter thing and you can take a picture. Other stuff is right here where you can find the device. And it only vibrates. There's no sound coming out of it, but it's definitely vibrating right there. You can change 12 and 24 hour time. You can change to British or metric. Um, and it is 12 and 24 hour because right now it's in the afternoon. Uh, it's showing 133. You can uh, get sedentary reminders and all day heart rate measurements that then will show up here on the app. And you got this quick view thing with a valid period of start and end time and I'm not even sure what that is and then you can calibrate it something new for you to discover you also apparently have weather that you can set for Fahrenheit if you like but I haven't seen weather show up on this particular watch so that may be a feature in the app that works with other devices um, but there may be weather buried in there something else to try to discover and that's pretty much it about uh, the app itself it's showing you your device and the firmware and you'd upgrade right there uh, and again back to your main screen gives you the overall information so for a general purpose fitness band this is pretty nice it's got really bright screen it's got a lot of categories that you can work with when you get here to training this is where you long press and you can go through all the different types of exercises that you have available to you and there's quite a few. Most of these uh, that aren't like uh, running, walking, um, hiking, or uh, cycling, uh, most of these uh, will just track your um, calories. So you're getting a heart rate and calories, and that's about it. The uh, other ones, there's pause, stop. I'm going to stop that. 
The other ones like when you get back to running, let's say, here. Let's see that it does it. Yeah, you see, this will count your steps and distance, but it's using the pedometer to do that, not GPS, when you get going on that. So a little bit of limitations that it does not have GPS, but if you don't need high accuracy and you want a really nice, bright uh, watch with lots of color display to it, this one's a pretty darn good one. And again, coming to us from light in the box, it's called the CF58. It's going to be well under $30, and if I can get a discount off of that already low price, I'll have that in the show notes for you. Okay, you've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you again soon. Oh, just one more thing. If this isn't cool enough, when you uh, get a push notification from your phone to the watch, just so you don't miss it, you can't see it on the screen regularly, but you can see it right now. And you can barely tell they're blue. On the camera, they look green, but they're bright blue and typically flashing on either side. These little diodes will let you know when you have something you need to take a look at on your phone. Ha <laughs> ha!